You know, sometimes I look at myself and I remember that I used to be younger. things that have been happening are pretty terrible, pretty terrible, but at the same time, there's a silver lining somewhere. Sometimes it takes a while to see it, sometimes it's a while before you get it, but then again, well, life is easy if it's worth anything at all, anything at all. Those all sound the same. Yeah, when you pair them like that, they do. I'm already bored with this, though. Okay, let's see. Do you all want to see what I'm doing? Do you care what I'm doing? Do you, do you care at all? Do you care at all? Hold on. You need a damn tripod. that other people could get where I am but wouldn't be my separate space if that was the case this is a it's an unknown zip code and I prefer it that way and even if I invite you, there's gonna be a barricade. That was depressing. Of course it was. <laughs> it was about my life. <laughs> okay, wait, wait. That's <laughs> sad too. Okay, I like that. That's kind of funky. I like that. I feel so very lonely And I wish that I could be the man that I am in my head I wish that I could, I wish that I could be him instead I wonder if a lot of these people just have multiple personality disorder or something <laughs> I don't know could be that, it could be borderline, histrionic, all of them. Just, yeah, all of them. Just the myriad, you know? Pretty sure there's gonna be like myriad personality. There's gonna be like a, like if you're like at least three things, you just be like, I'm a myriad. That, that's gonna be a new thing, trust me. It's gonna be a thing, it's gonna be hip and dip, it's gonna be really cool, it's gonna be really cool if you're extra crazy. <laughs> It's only good, it's only good If you're the one, if you're the one Who comes up with these labels for fun It's only 
good if you're the one, you're the one, you're the one. Guaranteed it's gonna be a thousand times more clever than anything they come up with. Because they're all full of shit and they've in fact admitted this. In fact, they're embarrassed by this, trust me, I know. I've gotten apologies, I've gotten really shocking reactions. And I guess it's because they expect you to be so dumb and constantly play the victim about whatever ails you. And I never do, I never do, at least, well, I try not to. And if I do, I always feel real bad, cause I know it's pretty annoying when everybody's gotta make about them. And I don't wanna be like that. But at the same time, there's so much going on inside of my mind, but it's not anything that I can't deal with. God will help me deal with it. God will help me deal with it. God will help me. God will help me. God will help me. God, God, God will help me. <sighs> can I just hear that? Can you, can you hear that? <laughs> this is weird. It's like Vegas over here, baby. It really is. This is exciting though, huh? It's crazy everything that's happening. At the same time, it's like... Fuck it, man. You know, like... <laughs> that's how I feel about it. It's like so many people are so... Upset. It's like, dude... It's always been the end of the world in our head. <laughs> so this just like, makes sense. That's how I feel about it. Don't be sad, 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 don't be sad. Don't be sad. Everything is just collapsing. It's like I'm watching like all these pyramids fall or something. That's how I feel. <laughs> Something I'm used to. I see it extra. It was so obvious a long time ago. And anybody, everybody that I tried to tell. Just assume that I was a little out of my mind. Well, the chances were that was probably true, a little bit anyway. <laughs> but that still didn't invalidate the things that I had to say. And so many people do that And they have no idea that they're doing that Cause their bias gets in the way Of anything that could help them If it's coming from somebody That's not politically correct So many people, they don't understand How much this has infiltrated their thinking But I 
can see it I've seen it since I was a kid In the early 90s I saw it How it was shifting everybody's sense of identity and That's why I don't give a fuck Whatever you call yourself Whatever you do to yourself I really don't give a fuck But don't try to push it on me Cause if you push it on me well, I'm just probably gonna say some mean stuff, mean stuff, mean stuff, mean stuff. <laughs> That's really only pushed me, too. Really, you gotta push me hard. I mean, I really... I got that, uh... You know, uh... They call it the golden rule, but I would say it's the... It's the most basic libertarian principle, you know? Just, I hate, I hate, uh, aggression, man. It's just annoying. You know? It's annoying any way that it comes out. Whether it's through violence or passiveness. It's, it's still just as annoying. Uh, so. Passive aggressiveness is even more annoying to me. Because I'd rather you just punch me in the face and... Be half of a bitch, you know? Just be the whole bitch. Please. Please just get it over with. Oh man, I love that. That's so, it's a little different sounding. I haven't really explored the, the sounds on this keyboard that much. I really should. I love my keyboards. I really do. They mean a lot to me. Um, thank you, Todd, for my keyboards. Such a light in my life, being able to play music. It's such a gift to have that. I think that it's more of a gift to like want to do it than it is to just have these things because anybody can have them and maybe sometimes you mess with them. But it's it's one thing, like when I say light in my life, it's like with music, um, the morning star, right? <laughs> oh. thing is that's in revelations god says it'll give us the morning star so that's interesting <laughs> well i always interpreted that like just with art because you feel like it's the end of the world all the time so you feel like you're having revelations constantly you know um and so when you experience that you really feel like you understand, like, what God wants from you. And uh, I think that that's, you know, to live up to your potential, be everything that you can be. And that's, that's really hard through art because, I mean, society really is constantly fighting art. You know, anything that, that's not propaganda, they can't stand it. That's why they hated that Joker movie so much. It wasn't a superhero movie that they could control. That's why they don't like Christopher Nolan either. I think that time is being sped up through technology. Have you guys noticed that, like, just experiencing a day? I mean, I don't know. I've noticed this since I was a kid that time just felt like it was being sped up. And that was through, like, the different stuff that we were being fed. You know, a lot of people want to blame the education system. I mean, it's definitely that, for sure. Um, but technology is really at war with people's brains. And everyone's so addicted to it, though. I mean, I'm, I'm addicted to it, too, man. You want to see what I'm addicted to? Um, 
I still have a CD player. I'm not even joking. This is a CD player. Um, <laughs> this also has the radio on it, too, apparently. There's like a Walkman. It's our it's a AM, FM radio. So that's cool, too. It's a nice little feature. Uh, but, but yeah, it requires a... See the little, the little flap fell off of it. It's like I broke it off. I don't know what happened, but... Uh, yeah, it requires two AA batteries. Um, right now, I am listening to... Uh, huh. <laughs> Vampire Weekend's first CD. It's their first album. It's really, really good. This came out in like... 2007 or something. <laughs> Maybe 2008. Seems like so long ago now. This is what I'm saying. Like this album came out in 2008. Like I'm listening to Vampire Weekend's first album. Like I hate them now. They're terrible now. But their first album is so good. <laughs> their second album is pretty good too. But yeah, it's not as good as their first one. Yeah, it's always the case with most bands that are any good. Oh, anyway. <laughs> 